Hi and welcome back to our series of videos on clicker training. Vito is super pumped for this and hopefully your dog at home, if you've been doing the train along, is ready to move forward and actually use the clicker to learn a trick or a skill. If you haven't seen the first video, then check it out here. It's important that if you're doing the train along that you do go back and go through that with your dog. The trick that we're going to actually teach Vito is to walk backwards. And the reason that I've chosen that is because it's a perfect example of how clickers work really well. So the act of doing what he should do, Vito is going to be traveling, walking away from me backwards, which means I can't reward him over there. I just need to let him know that he's done the right thing and then I can reward him afterwards. This is the perfect example, the perfect opportunity for us to show you the benefits of how to use a clicker in teaching a skill. Like any dog training, it's best done when broken down into stages. We kind of layer the behaviors on top of each other as we progress. So the first thing that we need to do is break this training down into different sections. Section one, just gonna simply encourage Vito to walk backwards away from me. I can do that by kind of herding, walking towards him and then clicking when he's walking backwards and rewarding it. This again is something that we're going to need to repeat. We're gonna to need to do it over and over again to create a muscle memory or a pattern of behavior. Section two, once we've really inbuilt that pattern of behavior, I'm going to try and get him to walk away from me without me physically moving. And that's where the clicker really comes into play because I can watch his feet and the slightest movement backwards, I'll be rewarding that. So section three, the final section, would just be building on what we've done and getting Vito to go backwards varying distances. It's kind of the completion of the exercise. So section one, the first thing we need to do is get Vito or your dog positioned squarely in front of you. And then we're gonna encourage them to walk backwards by simply walking into them. So I'm gonna use a big scent pan, the food in my hand to create a target. And then I'm gonna encourage him to walk backwards. Back, back, back. Now it might get a little bit messy at this stage. Your dog might start going off at different angles. Don't worry about it, messy is fine. We just need to keep working at it until you sense that it's the right opportunity to click. Any form of straight backward movement is what you want to mark. So scent, target, food in your hand, on the dog's nose. Dogs automatically sit for this kind of behavior. So this is why this movement this way is needed. Back, back, back. Back, back, back. Good boy. So target in my hand, onto dog's nose and backwards. Back, back, back. There we go. Good boy. Don't be tempted to try and walk him backwards 20 yards. Just going backwards straight for two or three feet, even half a foot is a good place to start. Now, Vito is doing what a lot of dogs do when they start this exercise. He's starting to go off at 45 degrees don't reward that what you need to do is reward even the smallest right behavior at this stage in training when you actually press the clicker isn't super important we don't need to be too meticulous about that simply that your dog is moving backwards in a relatively straight line will do guys don't be super disappointed if your dog doesn't pick this up super quickly people humans get frustrated when things don't go right straight away and they tend to bail out and and do something else stick with it it's more about repetition and keep coming back to it than one big training session where you achieve the end goal layering behavior so let's just start with teaching your dog to move backwards and rewarding it back 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 yeah good boy small wins are important here simply him understanding that lifting his bum up is going to get the click which gives him a reward that's going to put him in a position where i can make it easier it's easier for me to walk him backwards back 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 good boy more again more rewarding him getting out of the sit position than actually walking backwards back 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 good boy as with all dog training a little and often is the best way forward so we're going to finish this session here and we look forward to seeing you in session two hi and welcome back Vito and I are well into session two now session two is all about encouraging Vito to one go backwards without encouragement from myself so without me physically moving towards him 
and two to kind of help him not go off at 45 degrees which he, he was doing quite a lot so to help that to aid that i've moved into a narrow area i've started training him next to a wall so that it's easier to promote straight backward walking this is where the clicker comes into its own because we need to be really precise in letting Vito know when he's doing right and what we're looking for is the slightest backward movement from his legs so you're going to verbally encourage him or you're going to verbally encourage your dog backwards back 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 that's something they should recognize from session one and the slightest movement even if it's an inch or so you mark that behavior with the clicker and reward your dog a top tip another thing i've done is move the food out of sight it was becoming counterproductive for me Vito was getting too focused on it so i've actually put it in my pocket he understands that the clicker means he's done the right thing and i can actually just fish that out and reward him afterwards back good boy perfect so we're coming to the end of section two in section two our aim was to get Vito to walk backwards even a, a small amount without me walking towards him now he's done that he's doing it a couple of inches admittedly but that's perfect it's a good starting point small steps climb mountains and the mountain that we'll be climbing in section three is actually turning that two or three inches into a couple of feet i hope you've enjoyed this and i hope you've been able to follow along with your own dog if so give us a like and if you don't want to miss the next one then hit the subscribe button with notification switched on